Hey y'all. So, um, I have an update. I, I can't remember when I did the last video. I think it was probably a week and a half ago. Maybe two weeks ago. Um, it was recent. Uh, more recent than my previous videos have been. Um, so, yeah, I've steadily been losing weight still. And that's very surprising and shocking to me. Um, I did the math this morning and um, I don't hold any stock in the whole BMI thing. Um, I mean, they don't really take into consideration your bone frame and muscle mass, and I have, you know, a large amount of both, but, um, I think, what was it, 4.3 pounds, 4 pounds, something like that, 6 pounds, 4 point something pounds, and, uh, I will be in the normal BMI range, I will no longer be overweight. When I went, when I hit uh, 159, um, I was 163.6 this morning. Um, very bizarre, uh, very exciting, and uh, it's just really weird. Very weird. After staying in between 171 and 174 for over a year and a half eating whatever I wanted you know I weighed myself daily I tracked what I ate daily I ate whatever my pouch tolerated and whatever I wanted and uh, you know I, I stayed the same weight and then all of a sudden it just started coming off again and um, you know, and I, I tell people um, I maintained a 97-ish pound loss, and that is true um, because I did hit 170 for about a month. Um, I don't know when I hit 170, but I stayed 170 for about a month, and then I went up to 171, and then started fluctuating 171 and 174 for over a year and a half. Um, so yeah, I did maintain a 97-ish pound loss. Um, I did lose 100 pounds. Um, I did it last week, and uh, I, I didn't celebrate. I haven't celebrated yet. Um, I really don't want to celebrate and jinx it. Uh, so uh, yeah, um, 100 and three point something pounds down now, almost 104 pounds down, so, uh, yeah, it's very surreal to me, um, I've been getting a lot of questions, and, like I knew I would, and I have answered them to the best of my abilities, um, I am still getting around, my average a day is 550 to 650 a day calories. Um, that is low for the normal person. I am not the normal person. My BMI, my BMI, my BMR is very low. Um, I mean, my BMR has to be extremely low if I maintain on 850 calories a day. Um, I put my, in my last videos, I put my range of 800 to 1200 calories as a maintenance range. My average over the last year and a half has been about 850 calories. Um, usually like maybe once a week, I would get, well maybe once or twice a week, I would go to 1000 calories and maybe once a month I would go to 1200 and immediately if I went to 1200 or even above 1200 which is very rare um, I would see an increase like on the scale and in my clothes um, I couldn't button my jeans 
without huffing and puffing. So, I mean, you know, and that's just ridiculous on 1,200 calories a day. That's crazy. You know, you eat that to lose weight, not to maintain or gain weight. So, I mean, my body is not normal. It will never be normal. So, you know, if I'm going to continue to lose weight, I'm going to have to eat less than what I take in to maintain. So, um, I get in at least 80 grams of protein a day. I get over 100 ounces of water a day plus other fluids. Um, I drink tea constantly. Um, I sweeten it with Splenda and uh, I mean that's what I drink, tea and water. Um, and coffee, I drink coffee constantly but I don't count that toward my water intake because as soon as I drink it I go pee it out. So I don't count that at all. Um, so yeah, um, still losing. Very weird. My clothes are baggy. Very, very baggy. Uh, I just bought some new jeans about a month ago and they're falling off of me now. So it kind of sucks. It was wasted money. It really sucks. <laughs> Uh, let's see, oh, um, I had an MRI today, I just got back from it, uh, they scanned my brain and my face, uh, like I mentioned in my last video, my headaches, I've been having headaches since August, um, I've also been having, uh, right facial pain and numbness, so, uh, my neurologist wanted to see what it was about, so I had an MRI today. And uh, I hate MRIs. I absolutely hate them. They scare me to death. I don't like small enclosed spaces. I hate elevators, and it was, I hated it. It's, it's awful. And, um, but I don't know. I had a moment of clarity in there, and I'm like, I don't know. It's just like, a moment washed over me and I'm like this is gonna find out what's wrong I know I know it's gonna find out what's wrong they're gonna find it so you know I have faith in the imaging that is gonna find whatever is right here causing all of this crap it's gonna find it uh, so yeah um uh, what else did I want to mention? Oh, Heather, a uh, gastric girl on Twitter, and I started a Twitter book club. If you're interested in joining, it's on Twitter called WLS Book Club. Um, we also have a blog on WLSBookClub.blogspot.com. Uh, we've started um, gathering people and uh, doing our introductions and stuff like that and uh, we're hoping to start getting book suggestions and um, starting to uh, find a book to read and then discuss it. So if you're interested, go to our Twitter page and then go to our blog and join and uh, join the conversation and stuff like that. We'd love to have you. Oh, what else? What else? Uh, I guess that's it. I, I just wanted to talk about my weight loss, um, the calorie thing. I know I eat low calories, but it's not too low for my body. It's low for most people's body. And, you know, I don't recommend you eat that low. So, you know, this is my disclaimer. You know, unless your doctor says so, don't eat, you know, as low of calories as I'm eating. Um, but, I mean, I feel a lot better than I have in a long time. Um, I've cut out the um, carbs, wheat carbs, and, you know, and uh, corn stuff. I can't cut out all corn stuff, but um, I don't eat tortillas or um, crackers or anything like that anymore and I feel so much better I get my carbs from my beans and nuts and vegetables and dairy and I just it's um, a noticeable difference in 
how I feel. So um, somebody mentioned that I might have an intolerance to grains and um, I don't think that's far-fetched at all since it is a vast improvement of how I feel. Oh, also, um, my neurologist put me on Topamax and Midrin. Um, if anybody has um, any experience with those two drugs, uh, let me know. I've talked to a lot of people on Twitter about it already, um, but I mean, a lot of you aren't on Twitter. Um, so if you would, uh, talk to me about it. I'm interested in hearing about your experiences with them. Uh, so I'll talk to you later. Bye.